Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So today we're in Act 7.2.4. So the fourth quest, second chapter of Act 7. And I'm going to show you what I thought was the easiest path uh, for me to complete. Now, it being the easiest path for me to complete is relative. You want to check all the paths and find which one is best suited for your skills and your roster because it's going to be different. OK, but in this video, I'll at least show you what I did and maybe that'll help you out. OK, so the path that I chose, as you can see here, uh, is this one superiority, cut your losses, burden of might. Uh, there's also destructive feedback. Uh, now, that destructive feedback can be annoying okay and you may not like it and then you see this tech ascendancy and you look down and read what gets a boost basically tech and cosmic get a boost then you have that superiority node where if you have class disadvantage you're going to basically do more damage so you get a lot of help in the damage department. Now I'm running suicide, so I already have a lot of damage, but you're gonna notice that I'm going to use a tech champion against the cosmics, and I'm gonna use a cosmic champion against the mystics on this path. Look at the damage, look at the damage. Now that happened because for some reason, he dashed backwards instead of forwards. I was sitting there, I'm like, yeah, let's get him, let's get him and he dashed backwards and that kind of threw me off. I can't wait for the new input system. But anyway, as you can see, very easy fight, okay? Now, what you wanna do, if you're not familiar with destructive feedback, there are a couple of ways that you can do it, all right? And I used to use Ghost because she wasn't getting hit anyway and I just played her like normal. And I could have done that uh, with this one as well. But we've been using Ghost a lot, and I wanted to, you know, have a little bit of a variety. All right, I messed up there. I went to dash back, and I dashed back too late, and so it registered as a parry, so I got hit. But what you want to do is you want to do as much damage as you can while it's on cooldown. Like, you see that icon up there? It's about to uh, come off cooldown. All right, now that it's yellow... Any damage that you do is going to be stored. All right, so all that damage you saw me do just now, you see she's not taking any of it. Now she just took it. Okay, that's how it works. So some people approach this as um, what they do, the strategy they use, is they just don't do any damage while it's yellow. So while it's yellow, they just parry and evade. Parry, evade, just don't do any damage. When it comes off cooldown, that's when they attack because it's dangerous if you do damage and you saw what happened. I did a lot of damage and then I dashed, registered as a parry and I took all that damage. So you want to be careful in how you approach this. So uh, you can see here, I just want to, I don't want to get touched when it's yellow if I've done a lot of damage already. Okay, so like right now, I can just do a lot of damage. Now, look at those Furies. Those Furies. If you don't know why I'm building up those Furies, read the nodes carefully. And you'll see why I chose the Tech Champion to go up against this Cosmic. Why I chose that Cosmic Champion to go up against the uh, Mystic Champion. All right? And you see there, I'm dancing, dancing, dancing. Uh, don't want to get touched. Do not want to get touched. Uh, and I love, 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 love my Warlock. Now, sometimes I'll get hit because I'm too busy watching that icon counter. Okay, so like right now, I know that everything that I did just right here is stored. So the last thing I want to do is get hit. But I go in when they have a special because I want to eat away at that timer. Okay, and once it's on cooldown, when it's gray like this, I'm good. Okay. So this is when you want to go ham, when you want to do as much damage as possible. If you want to employ that other strategy, um, that might be safer. 
uh, definitely will be safer. You know, like, see all of those? If I had gotten touched in any of those, I would have taken all that damage that I had just done. So the safe way is to just parry and, and evade and don't attack while it's yellow. And then when it goes on cooldown, then you can attack and go ham. It'll make the fight a little bit longer. And that's why you see me with that particular strategy because I hate long fights. Any of you guys that have been watching me for a while, you know I hate long fights. So my strategy is speeding the fight up because I hate long fights. All right, did I mention I hate long fights? All right, so anyway, you can see here, I'm, I'm getting comfortable with the node. I don't want to get touched at this point, okay? Now, now I can get touched and I can parry and I can go in, okay? And so you can just see here, I'm just doing some damage, doing some damage. Look at my fury. The last thing you want to give uh, Hercules is furies. Same thing with Corvus. And I could have brought Corvus in here as well. But I decided to uh, let Hercules have his time to shine. Um, Hercules, and you're going to see this uh, play out uh, a little bit later against the boss. But my Hercules, even though he's awakened, doesn't have a high save. And that's going to make a difference. And I'll talk more about that uh, later. But just look at this. Look at the damage. Now, I was worried here with his special two, because if he trapped me in a corner, if he decided just to keep walking up on me, for example, uh, and trap me in the corner, I don't know how to evade that special two and I would have gotten wrecked, okay? But it didn't happen and down he goes, flop, flop, flop. All right, flash them pecs, that's what's up. Love, 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 love my Hercules. Definitely, in my opinion, the best champion uh, of 2021. Arguably, Kitty Pride. Uh, some people think she's the best champion, which is fine. Um, but it's close. It's close. All right. So here we go. And you're going to see a couple of uh, mistakes in this fight. Um, but Ultron, love me my Ultron, man. He got buffed as well. And he is a beast now. Crazy. All right. And you can see I'm using that same strategy. Uh, that you saw in another fight where I was backing off. But look at the damage. Look at this damage. And then, you know, I got hit a little bit. It happens, especially if I evade and I'm not expecting it. Okay, so here we go. And now I don't want to get touched. All right, so I'm, I'm backing off. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get out of the way. I'm looking up to see. And now I'm like, okay, now it's done. And I was too busy looking at it. And I got in the corner, but that's okay. Because Ultron is just crazy. All right. Um, I usually have him on defense. So that's why I wanted to do this while uh, we weren't in a war where I was using him on defense. Now, this fight actually did concern me a little bit. Because there have been times when her special one, I mistime it and get hit. That will hurt here. So you're going to see me play it safe remember what i told you before don't do damage while it's yellow you're gonna actually see me doing that here see what i just did i did no damage while it was yellow i just parried now i'm doing my damage okay so that is the safe way to do it all right and i i was able to evade no problem all right and you see here and see i didn't want to get if i got hit by that I would have just taken regular damage, not my damage in addition to it. Okay, so now we're going in. So this is how you would fight if you wanted to play it safe. Okay, and just look at this, look at this. Hercules just, just tearing her up. Okay, now, boom, I don't wanna get hit, but I pushed it to a special two because that's so easy to evade. Now I'm back to my other strategy because I'm not worried about that special one. See how I'm backing off? Um, I didn't want to push it to a special one because I didn't want to try to evade it while it was up. And down she goes. All right. So you got a chance to see a different uh, strategy employed uh, dealing with that destructive feedback. All right. Now, 
that was the path. That was it. Nice, smooth, straightforward. And as usual, we can choose a character or skip the node choice. I skipped it because I already have the champions that I wanted to go in here with. Now, Archangel is going to be my MVP for Immortal Abomination. When I decided to use, um, when I decided to choose a Mortal Abomination, I brought Archangel. He tears him up. Okay, but if you know me, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in with my other champions, and I actually did make a mistake here. Bring in Hit Monkey. He wasn't really. You notice I didn't use him on the path, and he's not good for this boss. All right. So I should have switched out another character and just threw in somebody else that would have been good. Maybe um, my five-star Archangel, something like that. But you'll notice what I do here. You'll see, I'm just doing damage. That's it. I'm not trying to win this fight. Okay, boom, boom. Pause, quit. I'm not trying to win, okay? So we took off a nice little chunk of his, his health. That's all I was trying to do. Now we've got Warlock. Again, not the champion that I plan to use, but every bit of health that I can take away will be great. Now, Warlock uh, is at least immune from the uh, poisons. However, one of the things that was getting me, one of the nodes here is Kinetic Transference which means he's gaining um, power every time I block. And so I'm having to deal with a lot more specials. You see he got his special two off and I didn't play very well around that particular node. I kept blocking. Um, it's one that I really dislike. Uh, there, it didn't move again. I tried to move and it did not move. Uh, and then here, I'm just like, oh boy. I messed up again, but I was able to keep from eating a special three. But you see, he was already at a special one, almost a special two already. That's that kinetic transference. Not doing a great deal of damage, but we did some. Some damage was done. All we're trying to do is nibble away. We already know Archangel is the GOAT for this particular node. But anybody that is immune to that poison can at least hold their own. Like if you didn't have anybody else, then you could try using uh, a poison immune champion, Ultron, Warlock, may not be as good as some other options, but you'll get her done, okay? Uh, I haven't tried Ghost, but I've normally used Ghost against Immortal Abomination because he likes to put poisons and ghosts will just phase those and, and get a lot of damage. All right. So once again, we pushed into a special two, which I hate, but you know, Ultron is, is doing his thing and we're just doing a little bit more damage. It's all we're trying to do as much damage as possible. Again, this, this happens a lot. You saw me evading and then I got hit. That's what happens. I, I really can't wait for them, uh, Kabam. Just look at that. Uh, I can't wait for Kabam to uh, put in this new input system. I believe it's going to be next month in March of 2022, in case you're watching this um, sometime after. They're gonna be putting in a new input system and hopefully a lot of these issues will go away eventually. All right, now, remember what I told you about um, Hercules. You're gonna see what I was talking about. Now, Hercules is not poison to me, okay? So I already knew going in here that his health was gonna be eaten up and he was going to have to go immortal. So I fired off a special one and look at his health, just melting away. But again, remember, I just wanna do damage, okay? And I'm going to show you what the AI does and what makes a difference. All right, boom. I'm immortal now, right? As long as I'm attacking. But look, he fired a special. All right, can't attack while he's firing a special. Okay, 
But look at this. Boom. And what does he do? All right. Keep going. Look at this. We, we almost got it. Nope. Fired his special. He's dead. If my Hercules had been higher sig, he would have survived long enough to beat that um, abomination right there. So I forget what sig level my Hercules is right now, but he he's only immortal for about six seconds. At sig 200, he's immortal for like nine seconds. That makes a huge difference. But in any case, we brought in Archangel and we cleaned up. So Archangel is definitely a great option for this fight, but I do like to chip, chip, chip away uh, at the boss before I bring in my heavy hitter, all right? But that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you